Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy, and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who gave the priest St. Jerome a living and tender love for sacred scripture, grant that your people may be ever more fruitfully nourished by your word and find in it the fount of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him? He could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who could say him nay? Who can say to him, What are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness? or your justice in the land of oblivion. Let my prayer come before you, Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. 
As Jesus and his disciples were proceeding on their journey, someone said to him, I will follow wherever you go. Jesus answered him, Foxes have dens, and birds of the sky have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to rest his head. And to another he said, Follow me. But he replied, Lord, let me go first and bury my father. But he answered him, Let the dead bury their dead. But you go and proclaim the kingdom of God. And another said, I will follow you, Lord. But first let me say farewell to my family at home. Jesus answered him, No one who sets a hand to the plow and looks to what was left behind is fit for the kingdom of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Three men in today's Gospel said they wanted to join Jesus and travel about sharing in his work, without first considering what that would involve. When he invited them to join him immediately, two of them wanted to put it off, since they had urgent duties to attend first. We might agree that burying one's father and saying goodbye to one's father are priority issues. Yet Jesus wanted them to come immediately, leaving everything else behind. It is hard to fathom how the call of Jesus could be so urgent. Following him closely is never an easy option. He asks for loyalty and allegiance even greater than what we owe to our own blood relatives. Trying to follow the gospel seriously can even put us at odds with those closest to us. But this challenging gospel, like any other difficult gospel text, must be set within the wider context of Jesus' teaching, to love one's neighbor as oneself. We are called to follow Jesus, even when that call asks a lot of us, and even when we have to sacrifice what we love in this life. Trusting in the goodness of our God, we now turn to him with these our prayers of petition. For those who are persecuted for their faith, that Christ may be their strength and their consolation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For priests, deacons, and members of religious orders, that they may be faithful to their vows and loyal to the true mission of the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the poor, the sick, and the lonely, that there will always be people of charity to care for their needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase of vocations to service within the Church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For health and blessings for Bruce and Marlene Campbell and family, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of our parishioners who are confined to their homes due to age or illness, for those who are in a nursing home or hospital, for those who care for them, and for all those intentions we now offer from the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear these prayers and to answer them according to your most holy will, for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, that having meditated on your word, following the example of St. Jerome, we may more eagerly draw near to offer your majesty the sacrifice of salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Jerome, you bid, you, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May these holy gifts we have received, O Lord, as we rejoice in celebrating St. Jerome, stir up the hearts of your faithful, so that, attentive to sacred teachings, they may understand the path they are to follow, and by following it, obtain life everlasting. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Come on.